Wow. I'm gonna have to dump these. Oh man, there's so many coins falling. It's warm, the warmest day of the year, by far the warmest day of the year. It's uh, like minus 10 Celsius, it feels a lot warmer. I can actually feel heat from the sun for the first time in months. One of the best things about this time of year is this perch. I love this place. Spend a lot of time here in the spring and in the fall. Just parked right here, just looking out. And I built this, this little uh, table tray in the fall time. And I've barely used it over the winter because when it's minus 30 to minus 40 outside, you do this. And it doesn't take long for a 30 degree tent to go down to minus 30. Uh, so now that it's just so nice out, it's minus 5 degrees outside Celsius. So that's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And inside right now it's 15 degrees Celsius, which is like maybe 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that stove is really nice up against my back. I just get to park here and take in the beautiful sunshine that is coming back really fast. So today's a, a big moment for my channel because um, I've gone into a partnership with Jackery and I'm really happy about that. If you guys have watched my channel at all this year, how many times have you seen this?
I gotta plug it in. There we go. The Jackery power station honestly got me out here more than I have any winter before. And I can't come out when it's below minus 30 on my snowmobile because it won't start. And I've said this over and over again. So when I brought the Jackery this year and started using it and plugging in my snowmobile, I just, I just felt like this changes everything. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes, let's see. Look at that thing. I love it. And it's not that big and it's not that heavy and it's gonna fit perfectly on my little, my little ladder that I use. So that fits there just perfectly. And it's been where I've been storing, I should say using, placing, putting my 1000, my Jackery Explorer 1000. This is the Jackery Explorer 1500. And I'm gonna be able to just use this knowing that I'm not gonna use it all up. And I've got big plans for it this weekend. I'm going to be charging my chainsaw battery in this. I'm going to be charging my, I have a brand new lamp that I just picked up. Yeah, and my, my batteries for my camera, my phone. Now I don't have to worry. Okay, so right away I plug it in and the Jackery recognizes that something is happening, but you can see nothing is happening zero watts zero watts are being drained because i haven't turned on the dc output yet we'll turn it on let's see what happens four watt output barely even oh and there we go and i'm charging as you can see so here you've got your three outlets i like to call them plugins yeah it's uh it's very versatile you've got your car charging port right here uh, that's a DC output and then your input right here is um, for if you're going to use your solar panels. So when you get your Jackery you get this great little box and what do you get when you order one? What is this? A user manual. Yeah, you'll need that. A user manual. Oh cool and you get some. Oh those are really awesome. I like that. You get some stickers. So here's the adapter that you would use at home, right? Plug into your wall at home, any outlet. This is for your car charger, and this is for your solar panels. And I'll, I'll tell you that I am working with Jackery for uh, about a half a year. It's, it's gonna be about a half a year. So there will be times where I will be um, showing you how effective it is at charging with solar power. By the way, Jackery Canada, uh, now has a Canadian website dedicated to Canada. So Jackery Canada, the website is now online. Check it out. I'm a Canadian and um, I think it's really cool that I can just go on and now check out the Canadian site.
Now I love mac and cheese. Craft dinner, we call it craft dinner in Canada. Now I'm going to put in some bologna. Let that fry in there for a bit with that cheesy mac and cheese. This is a nice little mid-afternoon lunch. Today, oh man. Now I like KD with hot dogs, but this is just as good. I've had a hard time splitting birch in my life if it's green, right? Like sometimes your axe will actually bounce back at you. So, like I can't, I can't grab that. No. Nope. If that was a piece of uh, spruce, like I can just grab it. Now this spruce is really dry. And that's my whole point. So let's see if I can split this. That is heavier than that. And that's probably twice as big as that. Oh, not too bad. I swear I've had birch bounce. Oh, it's splitting nicely. So I'm gonna split it all. So that way it reduces any chance of rot. There, you can see all that birch. It's nice, it's pretty. I'm gonna finish loading the wood and that chore is done for the day. Now this will eat quite a bit of the Jackery power, but nothing that I'm concerned about. Okay, now it's really pushing. 200, 280 watts, 330. Wow. This thing needs juice as much as my uh, snowmobile does, if not more. 400 and 500 watts. Wow. Look at that. There she is charging. 600 watts. This thing is asking for it. Let's see what happens. Fully charged and I still have 94% of my Jackery left. Not that experienced with uh, charcoal, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, 
Hopefully this can do the trick. That out there isn't an official smoker, obviously. It's just me repurposing my old stove. And, um, like, the smoke is nuts. Like, I didn't know that those little uh, wood chunks were going to be so effective. Essentially, as soon as they touched the coals, they started smoking right away. So you saw me there. I, I stuffed uh, some, some spruce branches down in just to really slow down the amount of smoke that was coming out. And uh, I know that the smoke's got to go somewhere, so I don't mind it coming out of the, of the chimney there, but I just want to slow it down. So, but it's not hot. Like, there's no real heat coming out of, of the stove at all. Like, I can pretty much put my hand all over the stove. Um, I wouldn't want to put it, like, maybe right next to where the coals are, but for the most part, it's really, like, not hot at all. So... I just don't understand like I know that the smoke is going to infuse and it's going to work its way through the ham and all that sort of stuff and the ham is already cooked so I'm you know I'm lucky in that way but I do want it to get nice and juicy and I want it to drip and I I uh, scored the fat on the top and so I'm hoping that that starts to like have some cool like crispiness on on the ends but i don't know if that's going to happen because there's just no heat <laughs> so i don't know like the smoke like i could probably just look this up and not ask you but i'd rather hear from you especially those out there who are really familiar with smoking this is the worst stove in the history of stoves there is a giant hole in the side of the stove and coals are falling onto the floor and I've got these two, I've got the baffle there now, and I've got the heat shield. And they're just falling onto the floor because there's a giant hole in there. Man, like it's not even safe to sleep here, I don't know. Maybe I just have to let this go out and then I gotta take it out. Drolet, this is bad. I hate to say anything negative about anybody or any company. Oh man. I am so thankful I have Jerry's stove come and look at that hole. Look! Fresh coals falling out. 
I really want to spend the night here. I do not know what to do. This is this this is the most unsafe stove. Like I could honestly have woken up in the middle of the night with my tent on fire. That is dangerous. I don't know what to do and it's getting wider and wider. I'm really trying to figure out what to do here. Should I just go for it and do it now? Transfer all of the coals into the bucket and then because that stove over there, the smoker isn't hot. So I could get all of everything that's hot out of the little stove, <laughs> and put it out here, lift up the chimney, right? And don't burn myself. And then bring in the other stove, because it's not hot anyway. And because uh, it's just not safe. Like I could just let it continue to go, but I kind of want to tackle it now. Even though I have food smoking, I just want to settle the problem right away, right? Just just solve it. And so that's kind of how my mind works sometimes. I just like to go for it. So I'm a bit impatient. And it is getting colder. Like it's about minus 15 Celsius now. So the temperature's dropped. It's going to go down to minus 20 tonight. And uh, it's, so it's not getting any warmer. Um, so the earlier I do it, the better. That's kind of my thinking. Can't believe it, the old barrel stove coming back in. This bucket big enough? I do not know. It's on. It is on. Look at that smoke. Wow. I'm gonna have to dump these. Just, oh man, there's so many coals falling. Like I wouldn't even be able to stir this tonight. Okay, here it goes. Oh. What I might do is this. <laughs> For sure. Wow. I gotta show you guys the coals on the ground. Oh man. So if I was to stir that tonight and I hadn't noticed it and I didn't put down those steel plates and just went back to bed, a lot of that would have gone onto the floor, the wood. Could have been dangerous. happening oh. not too hot not too hot look at that there we go. look you can see the light from the coals that is nuts get a little stir there we go, yeah. There we go. Coal's coming out of the stove. Oh, boy. Let's see. What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even hot. That's pretty cool though. Oh, that ham was smoking good. Yes. The old barrel stove is back. Okay. The Zen. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Bring it over. Look at that. Slide right here. 
right in nice there. Whoa. Pretty straight. That's gonna be smoky. Looking good, eh? It's almost ready. burn the bottom. Oh, it's just frying up perfectly. That tender fat. Yes, I want to bring it over here to the side away from the direct heat. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. A little bit crispy on the bottom, but man. Oh my gosh. Yes.
lots of smoke coming out there. Stove did a good job last night, I have to say. It's nice to have the old squeaky stove back. Yeah. I mean, it's only minus 10 out there this morning. So, it didn't have to compete with temperatures that are 30 degrees colder. But all in all, it was uh, it was nice. It was nice in here last night. Stove did a good job, nice and quiet. And how about those northern lights? Wow, last night, man, they were like the best. They've been all winter long for sure. They, uh, I would go out and I would just stand out there and just watch them and they'd come and then they'd kind of fade away. And then I'd come into the tent, warm up a little bit, and then I'd open up the zipper and look out and I'd see them starting to build again. And then the next thing you know, they just rush through and it's like, there they are just going going nuts <clears throat> and they come in waves and then they fade off again and then they come back and do the same thing again yeah th those were the best lights I've seen this winter Look at that. Wow, eh? Crazy, it just came off. Just pulled apart. I actually don't think this is airtight underneath. Oh, maybe. Is it airtight? Maybe, I can't really tell. But it's, no, it's not airtight back here. Crazy. Look at that. That is not safe, man. I mean, just look at it. And yet you can tell the back is not sealed at all. I liked frying the beans with the ham. I thought that was uh, an effective way to kind of reduce the beans because beans are pretty wet when you put them in at first. So it just kind of reduced all of that moisture and this ham is really tenderized with these beans oh yeah wow that is good that is really good mmm ah oh, what a way to start a day Anyway, that's it for this video. What an adventure, man. That was a trip that I will never forget. Um, and I'm so glad that I brought my camera and I brought you guys along. I always bring my camera when I go to camp. And I never know what's going to happen or what to expect. I usually have a good idea. Okay, I'm going to smoke a ham. I'll do some stuff, you know, around camp. I'm going to put that jackery to good use and test it out and all these sorts of things that's what was going through my mind before I left but never did I imagine that I'd have to swap out stoves in the middle of a fire yeah it was a it was a great trip and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell all that sort of stuff and if you can like this video too and if you liked it um, then yeah hit like that would be great Helps out a YouTuber and, and you know this year has been a phenomenal year for the channel and um, I really love that a lot of you out there are helping me grow just by doing those little simple things and um, it inspires me to get back out here 
and to make more videos and to not quit when the stove quits on me because probably you know three or four years ago I just would have said all right I'm putting that out and I'm going home but last night I said no way man this is gonna make an awesome video anyway this was a great trip like I said and thanks so much for watching I'll be back really soon